Hey guys, it's Wizard 100 and so here's the vlog for March. Videos you may have missed. One of them is the um, Deadpool movie that that uh, me and D Tysoner did a movie vlog on that we saw with a couple of our friends and buddies uh, back in February. Yeah, last month February. And then the other movie that me and D Tyson saw that we also did a vlog on is Starship Trooper. So. You know, if you need to listen to something in the background, check those out. Although with the Deadpool one, if you haven't seen the movie, maybe, maybe might skip that one a little bit, little bit. But if you don't care about spoilers and whatnot, then uh, you know, go check it out. We there's a lot of there's a couple of visual gags or stuff that I do in that vlog. So one of the few times you might want to look at the screen. But overall, like as usual, listen to it in the background when you're whenever you're doing something. And the other uh, videos you may have missed is a couple of Let's Plays that I've been doing on my other channel, uh, Wiz Hitman. I need to update that last vlog on that stuff too, so I should probably do that. Sanitarium, commentary, uh, I think we did two, no, I definitely know we did one uh, with uh, me and Hitman, so definitely check it out. It's, uh, we're getting close to the very end of the game, so definitely go and watch that. Uh, another one is Out of Here, or Out There Some- not Out of Here, Out There Somewhere that I got on Steam, which I will talk about later. Uh, Rochard, uh, star starring John St. John in it, with uh, pretty funky music, and if you'll notice that uh, most of the videos the music gets cut out. That's because I had to turn off the music, so uh, no YouTube can't be ready to know that garbage and stuff, so. Unfortunately, you won't hear any music in, during the game, but that's for that's because uh, YouTube copyrights and stuff. Because oh, otherwise, the view the video gets muted, or you know, uh, some of you don't even get to see it because the, you know it's just not allowed. Because bullshit. How to survive? I recently uh, finished that game, and and it's being currently uploaded right now. Uh, it'll finish in it'll finish uh, all being uploaded in April because I've got it scheduled to where every day you get to see. Uh, part of it, so I'm gonna I'll go work on a different Let's Play. And another one is... To the Moon! An RPG Maker game that I, I enjoyed playing. Definitely go check that out. It's quite emotional and I liked it. So that's it for all the videos you might have missed. I noticed that this video is kind of tinted a little bit blue. I decided not to wear my glasses, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Plans for next month. More Let's Plays on my channel, Wiz Hitman. Been doing a lot more stuff there. I really want to get back to the, to the reviews. And I do have some materials for it. Like, I've recorded the audio log for it, but I'm not sure what's stopping me from it. From uh, doing it. I wouldn't say laziness, but probably a lack of motivation to do it, so... <sighs> yeah, this month has not been going so well for me, um, emotionally and mentally, mostly mentally, so probably that's what's depressing me from doing the video game reviews and so forth, but, uh, I'll try, I mean, I did record some audio, record the audio, like, all the audio for it, now I just need to get around to doing it, and I'm just kind of, like, on and off about whether to do it the way I was telling you guys, or not to, I think I'll give it a try any, or, Give it a try doing it the way I was intending to do it. Uh, intending to do it, so... And let you guys see what's going on with that. Uh, the other plan is doing another movie log on Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, because... Me and D. Tyson saw that movie. Not on opening day, but we saw that movie, so... Going to talk about that. Uh, and kind of format it a little bit better so that... It goes at a better pace instead of us just rambling, trying to figure out like, hmm, what do we want to talk about and stuff. So expect the next movie log to be a little bit better. Now, if you're also a subscriber to my Common Rider Wizard channel, I have been, I have still been releasing uh, unboxing videos of uh, videos I recorded back in 2012. So that's like four years ago. Damn, that's a long time. I'm just like, I look back on it and I was like, in one video I said I said I was 21 and I was like, oh yeah, it's been four years since that since I was 21. Huh. God damn, I feel old. So yeah, if you're 
If you're a fan of Tokusatsu stuff, Kamen Rider stuff, then go check check out the unboxing videos. Yes, they're super lazy, but it's still Kamen Rider stuff, and there's, it's still kind of neat to see them anyways. Games I got this month. As always, I always find some way to get some games during the during the month, no matter what. It's like it's just like there's always at least a game somewhere somehow. I get a game. Now uh, these are the ones I can only I can remember at the moment because ever since the accident I've just been like really really forgetful. So there are three games. Uh, for my birthday I got Puzzle Planet League on DS, which uh, is quite a lot of fun. Is it better than Tetris Attack? Gameplay wise, yes, but overall wise, not really, because it kind of it, it kind of lacks a theme. It kind of lacks a theme to it, and you know I still like the game for it, and it's still a lot of fun, and I definitely would recommend getting it. And I got was able to get mine uh, for my birthday for a relatively good price, so that was nice. Uh, another game I got for my birthday was um, oh, it's right here actually from my. From my friend uh, D. Tyson, Fist of the North Star on NES. I did mention to him that I was. Uh, I told him I was fifth, fifth, fist, uh, fist of the North Star fan. So then that's how. I told him I was a Fist of the North Star fan because I am. That's uh, that's uh, thanks to I want to be the guy hearing the music. I then read the entire manga, which is crazy. And like, uh, th this is this is a little back then, like um. A year or so ago where I read all of it and then I watched the entire series of the anime that was also crazy too although I kind of kind of cheaped out on season two because like I know what's gonna happen because I've already read what's gonna happen and thank goodness it ended earlier than uh, the manga but yeah I got that and gonna use that for some review materials because obviously if you haven't heard Fist of the North Star on NES is uh, not that good and I've played it before, but now I own an actual copy of it thanks to uh, D. Tyson. So thanks for the gift, man. The uh, the last king. Uh, oh right, out there somewhere. This game is only 25 cents at the time I bought it. So it was like, if it sucked, it's it's just a quarter. Fact that I could have used for something else, but it's just a quarter. Plus it wasn't even like my own money. It was um. From all the items I've been selling on Steam, like, you know, I got two bucks, or two oh eight right now. Uh, two dollars and eight cents. <laughs> two hundred dollars, that'd be something. So I got that. So I used the money from my Steam wallet and just, like, bought it, and you know, it was a pretty fun game. Uh, I also, uh, Let's Played it too. There's two videos on it. Uh, which is actually, that's how long the game took. Uh, two videos on it on my channel was Hitman, which is also done at this point, as I mentioned. So, yeah, those are the games I've got this month. When I said there were three games I got this month, I forgot about the three other games that I got this month. Is uh, uh, the Fatal Frame Trilogy on PSN. They were on sale for 99 cents, and I've always, like... I always wanted to play the Fatal Frame series, but I didn't own a PS2. So, you know, I had to skip out on that, and it's a shame because Fatal Fr the Fatal Frame series looks, looks like my type of horror, where... Where it's not like Resident Evil 4 where you can fight off everything and just be like, oh, whatever, tick off. Or something, or like other horror games nowadays, like, oh, fuck, like, what, what's a good example? Like Amnesia, where you're an absolute fucking pussy, and it's like, oh, horror, run! And you can't fight back at all? Like, I like the option to fight back, but like, it's not guaranteed. The fight or flight kind of thing. Although that's not really what Fatal Frame's about. You're taking pictures of ghosts. Like, you're supposed to be, uh... Like, you're supposed to be scared, but you're also, like, allowed to fight back, too. And, uh, I'm hoping I get around to playing Fatal Frame and, uh, definitely doing a Let's Play on it, so... Yeah, can't wait to play that. It could be Fatal. Things I've done. Well, there's four things I can list off. Usually I list off three things, but, uh, in this case, I had to find, some, had to find something to do. Um, one of them was, like I said, I was feeling just... <sighs> I was just feeling depressed, really unmotivated, so... So watching the Batman vs. Super... or Bat Batman vs... or Batman v Superman... Oh wait, no, it is technically Batman vs. Superman. 
It's technically Batman vs. Superman, but the title just says Batman v Superman, which is really dumb. dumb. Dawn of Justice, so got to see that movie, and I quite enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it, and you'll see my oh detailed uh, discussion with it with D. Tyson. But yeah, so I finally got to see it. That's for the furnace. Now, while on the note of watching movies, uh, saw saw Starship Trooper, which is on my DVD shelf over there. Yeah, I finally got to saw it, or finally, bleh, finally get to see it, and I didn't say this in the vlog, but I'll say this here. Uh, I'm glad I saw it, but it was definitely not as great as I built it up in my mind, because I have I like, I saw this, I saw like clips and scenes of it, and I was like, oh, this is really, really cool, so I can't wait to see the movie, and it was just like, the movie was kind of like, like, yeah, I got what I wanted, not as great as I... Not as great as I thought it was going to be, but, um, you know, I still enjoyed it. And most of the stuff I said from the vlog still kind of applies, but, you know, I kind of wish I mentioned, like, uh... Like, I was just slightly a little bit disappointed because I kind of built up, like, some hype for it in my head when I saw the clips of it. Clips of Starship Trooper. But otherwise, I still enjoyed the movie. Uh, probably won't watch it for, like, a couple of years, because once you've seen it, you've seen it all. Plus, then there's the whole boring first half of it. Um, yeah, yeah, well, it's it's setting up a whole bunch of things in the first half, but, you know, uh, I would not watch it again. Watch it once and that's it. Speaking of watching stuff, uh, recently, I don't know what what get, caused me to get the urge to watch um, to watch this, but I went back to watch uh, SD Gundam Force, because back then I watched it on Cartoon Network, and, you know, it brings back some fond memories, and I was like, oh... Uh, let's see if this show has aged well, because I was actually kind of expecting the same thing to happen to me when I tried to watch Big Bad Beetleborgs and just like, no, I could not watch Big Bad Beetleborgs. That did not age well. But SD Gun Force, it aged well, I gotta say. I still actually quite enjoyed it. I still find it very charming, and I'm actually that minority of the group that actually likes it, because everyone's all like, Oh, is he got serious enough? It's not emo enough. It's all, all the plots too kiddie, the thing... And all those people... That's their opinion. But fuck you anyways. Okay? Because it's just like... Like, the Gundam series... I haven't watched that many. Let's see, I've watched SD Gundam... Seed... <laughs> oh, G Gundam. That was a very good one. It's like... Sometimes... It needs to chill out. And SD Gundam Force does a pretty good... Good job. Like it didn't take itself seriously, and it had fun with its uh, like, you know, its characters and stuff. And I liked it. There was a variety in the show, and then there was also like the Easter egg. Where it's like, oh, this Gundam is from this series. Like if you've seen like, for instance, um, like I said, I watched G Gundam. So when I saw a couple of characters, I'm like, isn't that from G Gundam? And it's like, oh, that's cool. If you know those series, you'd catch those references, and it's kind of cool. It's kind of like with um, DD Hokuto Ken or. Um, DD Fist of the North Star, which is like a parody of the uh, original Fist of the North Star, and I caught all the references because I've seen and read the original, so it's like, oh, that's really funny, that's really cool. But yeah, 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 SD Gun the Force. I really, really, I still really like it. I still found it very enjoyable, and the voice acting is still quite a lot of fun. Uh, I'm actually re watching it again in, uh, with the TVD, TVD, TVB. Uh, dub, and I gotta say, there's quite a lot of differences, like, so far from the episodes I've seen, because there's a lot of dialogue that they added in SD Gundam that made it more comedic, and the TVD, TVB dub, aka the, uh, broadcasting network in, uh, Hong, in uh, Hong Kong, doesn't really have a lot going, doesn't really have a lot of dialogue going, like, there's a lot of bits and pieces of silence. I assume it's from translating from the Japanese, uh, Dub because, um, what was, what was that? They're usually pretty accurate with their dubs, uh, but, but sometimes the voice acting is like on or off. Sometimes they do really, really well, and like, uh, for instance, Doramon and Gintama, and a few other things like, um, Tunde Borin, but other times they just fail flat, like, really, really bad. Like, currently, I'm a bestie Gundam, but I'm still gonna check it out because, you know, I gotta at least watch it, but otherwise, yeah. SD Gundam. Just gonna watch it one more time in, a, in, a, in another language and then stop. Because I really could not... Because Season 2 was just like... 
I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I don't want to watch that stupid little shit Genki Maru again, being a little shit. <sighs> okay, so I've written more scripts and stuff in the meantime, like, uh, my thoughts on the games I've played, for the most part. Like, I write down my thoughts, so whenever I come, like, get my drive for coming back to reviewing, it, I'll have my thoughts there already. And, you know, initial thoughts and all that, and maybe... I would actually use a script, or maybe refine it a little bit more, but, like I said earlier, I'm just like, this, this month has just been, like, depressing, it's killing my motivation to make reviews, like, I just, like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like doing it, but I want to, so it's just really annoying, because when it's, it just sucks, okay? But I have been writing it just, just in case, and, uh, I'm gonna try and work with the material that uh, I that I uh, what was it, what was it, that I made. So hopefully you'll get to see something. I mean, you subscribe to my channel, and I thank you all for that. But you know, you subscribe to it because I do did video game do video game reviews. So I should hold up my end of the YouTube tr or uh, you know reviewing slick where you actually see some reviews going on. So I'd like to apologize to those that you know came in hoping to see more new, new stuff, but just, it, it's, it's been tough. Ah, yes, celebrated my quarter century crisis of turning 25. If you don't know what I mean, figure it out, as I mentioned it way earlier in this video. So that's it for, um, this vlog, this vlog of mine of the month of March, so hope to see you next time, and hope you'll continue to keep watching. Regardless of stuff that ha that uh, has been going on, and like I said, go check out my go check out the Wiz Hitman channel for Let's Play and, and stuff. Like that's more that's getting more active. Uh, that's getting more active, if anything, than the channel you're watching on it now. So with that said, this is Wizard 100. You're the viewers, and I'm the vlogger. So stay tuned for more.